what is going on YouTube today we got two brand new limited legends dropping we got Lawrence Taylor and we have Le Reggie Wayne okay these guys are gonna be immediate playmakers for you guys Lawrence Taylor let's be honest he's a right uh, linebacker we don't have very many linebackers at all right now so he is definitely he's gonna be coming off the line and assuming you have a sprinter or a brawler he can get up to 90 speed off the line personally I'll be throwing edge thread on him and putting him on the edge he's gonna be an absolute beast and then we have Reggie Wayne also who does have 90 speed powered up with brawler or sprinter gets up to 92 speed an absolute beast and we'll look at the stats in a second but you can you'll see that the route running specifically with the speed he's easily the best ride receiver overall in the package okay he's he's really good he's really good so if you guys want to see live content I know right after this video is published we will be going live on twitch uh, streaming the rest of our weekend league games check us out here at the link below okay um, yeah let's get right into it okay so this is Lawrence Taylor this is what they tweeted out last night they just released the card, so we will be trying to pull him today. What? I don't even know what to say about this card. He 88 speed. This is fully powered up, guys. So this, even though it doesn't show the powered up version, the 91 is like the limited um, card that's powered up. So yeah, he's 88 speed, um, 91 acceleration, 87 strength, 86 tackle, um, 87 block shed. 90 power move 88 minutes and, and I love I love that the, for a linebacker He has a high power move and high finesse move a lot of linebackers only usually have one That's really good like for instance Von Miller usually has a really good finesse move But his power moves usually lacking a little bit but Lawrence Taylor Good block shed for a run defense good power move good finesse move like in, insane stats he, He's the best defensive card He's going to be the most impactful card, um, def for sure this weekend. Um, but yeah, there's no, he's like, there's like I said before, there's like no linebackers in general, other than if you have Sam Mills fully powered up and uh, Junior Seau. But if he's Junior Seau is really not a uh, pass rush. Um, so pass rushing specifically, Lawrence Taylor is going to be a beast. Okay, and then the other player. We obviously have here is Reggie Wayne. Now, I really, really like this card, and I and I have to say, most of the times they come out with these cards, and there's usually one card that everybody really likes. Like Lawrence Taylor, the last couple of Madden's has been really good, but usually whoever comes out with him is subpar, and you don't really go for both of them. Not this time. This time, Reggie Wayne is an absolute monster. You look at 90 speed. 90 catching and then the route running specifically is what piques my interest short route running 89 short route running I don't think you really need that high of route running because most of the short routes are drags and slants I don't think it really impacts How they run those routes very well, but the 90 mid route running and the 88 deep route running now you assuming you have Go deep, you know if you like passing the ball you probably have go deep or you have West Coast you have the other um, passing chemistries me personally go deep boost that deep route running so he's gonna get a plus four in deep route running he's gonna have 92 he's gonna be insane running deep routes um, yeah he like this he's definitely gonna be on my team ASAP so I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I have cooks in my number one slot I'm gonna have Tyreek Hill on my number two spot and then for my number three spot I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put Reggie Wayne actually in the slot and put some chemistries on him so I can put, you know, post corners, put some, and get him really, use him really well because he has such good route running. And then, you know, if I if I need just pure speed, because you got Cooks and you got Tyreek, they don't have the best route running. So I, I like using them on just like pure s speed. Like I Cooks, I just need, I need someone to streak the side of the field, that's where Cooks goes. Hill now Hill does do a couple post routes, but it but it's not as I think impactful as Reggie Wayne will be. So I was using Drew Bennett. Drew Bennett is out of there today, man. I'm gonna get Reggie Wayne today. 
True Bennett is gone. Okay. I think I think we have like 2.8 million coins right now that we've been sitting on. So we are getting rid of Drew Bennett, selling his ass, and we are going, boom! Get Reggie Wayne in there, and we're probably going to get Lawrence Taylor in there too. And so we have Adelius Thomas, so we'll probably sell his car too, because Adel Adelius is good, but compared to but compared to this, it's just ridiculous. Okay, so without further ado, let's just, we'll go over to Mudhead, we'll do a quick comparison of other players. Here's my head. Okay, so like I said earlier, you got a daily is Thomas. I'm not even gonna put another right linebacker in here because let's be honest, if you don't have a Dalius, you probably have Demario Demario Davis, who is terrible. I mean, he's not even he's not even worth it. But even looking, at, this is the be this was clearly the best right linebacker. But look at all these stats. 88 speed, 84. Now, is that even right? Didn't it just say 90? Is this right? Am I no, powered up, he's 90. Right. Right? Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Okay. All right, all right. So... <laughs> 90 speed here okay with brawler with brawler or sprinter but 88 speed base 87 strength 87 agility change it now change your directions not right linebackers and left linebackers usually don't have a great uh change of direction but he does have eight better change of direction than a daily is so you know that is something acceleration 91 so you have you have up to if you have like two times brawler, you lose an acceleration, but you'll have 90 speed, 90 acceleration. That's insane. Off the line with ed like edge thread if you have edge thread. That's insane. Okay. All these. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. We'll go down. Uh, this is offense. We're skipping offense. Tackle. He does get three less tackle than Adelius. I, I really don't know why that is, to be honest. But. He's pass rushing, so I'm not too worried about it. I really don't expect to try to use him making tackles on the on the running back or wide receivers very much. He's pretty much there to go get Lamar, go get Mahomes, go get Marino, right? So go get Aaron Rodgers if you if you were unlucky enough to overpay um, for him. All right, hit power, 88 hit power is pretty significant. I think. 88 is actually the threshold to get enforcer so you could throw enforcer on him i believe um 90 power move i love that and then finesse move see you see how i was telling you earlier that the linebackers usually only have one really good stat a dailies has one really good stat and the other one's very bad no not lt lt has both okay block shed 87 to 88 a dailies did have a little better run defense i think but like I said, LT's always been a pure pass rusher. You're you're not really defending the run with, um, with LT. Usually, it, you know, if you're having pro problems with the run, throw inside stuff on your defensive tackle and throw edge threat on Lawrence Taylor. You'll be fine. 90 pursuit. So that is a run defense mechanic. That is really good. Okay. Everything else is, eh, I mean, he's not, like I said, he's definitely not a coverage. Don't throw him into his zone. Don't use him at, put him on the line. You got to put him on the line here. Three, three, five, put him on the line. You know, put Miles Garrett on the other side. Put Doomerville on the other side. You, you the, he, he is meant to be on the line. Do not use him in coverage. Okay. Absolute beast. He, he will be on my team before the night is over. Absolute beast. All right, let's go over to Reggie Wayne. Now, I, I did compare Reggie Wayne to a, a couple wide receivers just because obviously a lot of people, you obviously just have a lot of wide receivers on your start in your starting, starting lineup. And there are different plus and minuses to each. Obviously, 90 speed. Yeah, 90 speed's great. But there are two options better than 90 speed. There's Brandon Cooks with 92 speed, Tyreek with 91. So if you do just want a fast wide receiver, there are cheaper options. Tyreek is cheaper now. Brandon Cooks will, this will drive Brandon Cooks uh, price down. Okay, and I don't really know what he'll, what Reggie will settle at. If I had to guess, I think he's gonna settle at about 600, 700,000 coins, maybe. Um, I think right now as I'm making this video, 
He, he just got released, so I think he's at like 1.4. But, yeah. I think he'll settle down a little bit. But we'll go over to the main things. Um, obviously, you don't need a lot of these. Acceleration, I would say, is pretty key. But most of these top tier wide receivers, plus one, minus three, 90, they're all about the same for those. So I don't think a lot of these stats really matter other, other than the speed's relatively the same. Um, offense... Uh, let's see here. What are we looking for? Short, here's the route running that I was telling you about right here. 89, 90, 88. Okay, this is significant. This is what makes Reggie Wayne better than the other wide receivers right here. You got 89 short route running. That's better than Tyreek. Most people weren't using Tyreek in a short route running anyways, but it's a little worse. Uh, who's here? Uh, Julio. Okay, that's actually kind of surprising. Julio right here. And then uh, Brandon Cooks over here is just one better. But the biggest thing is the next two stats. Mid-range. Boom. 10 plus Tyreek. 3 plus Julio. 1 plus Cooks. Deep. 88. Tied with tied with Tyreek. Better than Julio. And a little, a little worse than um, Cooks. Now. I think. I think. You, you still put Cooks as your one because Cooks has good route running as well. I, I still have Cooks as my one. Tyreek is probably getting benched and put as my number three. Now, I wouldn't say bench. He's still, he's still I, I play a gun bunch, so he's still on my team. He's, he's still in the gun bunch. But I put, you either put um, Reggie in the slot or you put him as your second wide receiver. I, I personally, he'll be in my, he'll be the second wide receiver for me, um, because yeah, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put slot tech on him, and I'm gonna put uh, route tech on him, slot apprentice, sorry, slot apprentice and route tech on him, and he's gonna, be, he's gonna eat people alive, um, and then yeah, you got, I mean, you got good catching, catching traffic, 87. That's, I mean, Tyreek obviously hasn't had a card yet, so he's better than Tyreek, but. He's about the same in all these uh, with these guys. Obviously, Julio has better spec catching just because it's Julio. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I think it's a quick video, but it is showing that Reggie is a re really, really good card and definitely usable. And I will say, and I'll say that this year they're they're finally doing it right where they're coming out with legends. And they're coming out with these new promos and every new card yes they're more expensive because it's mutt but they have more cards that are usable more players that are actually usable instead of last year you had flashbacks you had heavyweights and you had all these cards that were like just you nobody even got nobody used them nobody used them except no money no money spent in people who weren't getting good and good enough to get the good cards so this year you know you get these good cards every week we're getting multiple usable cards it's great i i have no complaints the content this year has been great okay great okay so we'll go back we'll go back okay so we will be pulling today we will be trying to get these guys on the team asap because we're finishing weekend league i'm five and oh right now we're gonna go live on twitch boom 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 over here live on twitch hit me with a follow um if you do like these videos these are this is like a new series i plan on doing when they have new content i'm just gonna kind of go over what the prices are what comparing to is it worth it are they good cards are there better options for price point so this is a new thing so uh let me know in the comments uh come into the twitch chat and let me know what you guys think about the video all right all right you guys have a good day and uh, see you in the stream later today, all right? All right, peace.